Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon to full moon in April 2022? I'm your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998, author of My Legacy, Words of Grace, from a professional witch available on Kindle, link in the description box, unless I read another one, you never know, uh, and creator on Patreon, Shazam! We're <laughs> having so much fun with that, patreon.com slash Drawing the Circle, I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions but you can call me Mal. Hey, my fixed heirs, my 11th housers. Hope you are all well. Uh, we are looking at a very, very interesting waxing moon, 14 day specific timeline. So if you're new to the channel, a five card draw is just one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about that astrological uh, timeline, in this case, a uh, waxing moon from new to full. But before we look at the numbers, I want to say these five decks also represent the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, and spirit, uh, to help you fine tune the seed that you plant uh, at the new moon to help it grow to full, whether that's through spell work, intentional work, with creative visualizations, and underwater basket weaving, whatever it is you do, you do you, right? You freaks. <laughs> <laughs> ruled by Uranus, you big uh, you Aquarians. Uh, so let's look at the timeline itself. We're looking at the new moon in Aries, uh, April Fool's Day, Friday, April 1st, uh, 2.24 a.m. And before I go any deeper than that, let's just say a new moon is a sun-moon uh, conjunction within five degrees of each other in the astrological wheel, right? In Aries, first house, the self, the ego, the personality, self-healing, self-anything you want to do for yourself magically. But then you put it on a Friday. Uh, that's the day of Venus, a day of love. Uh, so self-love in any way, shape, or form, anything that you're going to do, you can incorporate this and in that, do, do, do it on your own, whatever. Uh, and I'll be doing a little something uh, for the new moon here, well, on Patreon and then here on, um, on the Tube of You. But what's cool about that is it's self-love if you want to go there. And then two weeks later, you've got the full moon in Libra. Obviously, it's opposite sign, but that's very much one-on-one -on -one relationships, partnerships, marriage, seventh house, right? Uh, and that is on Saturday, the 16th of April, uh, 2.54 uh, p.m. So uh, keep that in mind. There's all sorts of stuff you can do because, uh, like I said, Aries Moon, you can always do the magic, the healing on yourself. And that's easier to get permission, <laughs> obviously. So it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs to get more information. The mantras are helpful, right? If you put together all your mantras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and it must be said, I'm well aware of what's going on on planet Earth in the Ukraine. I have a friend of mine who is Ukrainian going back to help either fight or rebuild, whichever happens. Uh, and uh, if you want info on how to help him, I can get you his Venmo and all of that. Because uh, he's just trying to save up money to get back to his family, essentially. Uh, so you do you on this. You manifest your the well-being of all, through what comes up here for you, you're doing your part as a, an awakening spiritual being on planet Earth, right? One of us heals, all of us heals. Let's see what hits the table. Both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will, and I will do my best uh, to serve my aquariums, my aqua lungs. I love you. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. And here we go. I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. Oh, something just went shifted in my nasal cavity for somebody out there. Uh, ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. For the Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Watching this video, receiving this reading uh, for the Element of Fire, one of the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish to help them hone and refine their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, the seed to plant this Aries new moon to bloom at full in Libra. 
passion. <laughs> Work. Now, if you be passionate about anything, but let's read the actual words on the card. Oh dear. Rise, passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. <laughs> Schwing. <laughs> Well, if you look at the picture. That looks like a, a, a tongue kiss is about to happen. <laughs> yay! I know, I just heard legions of Aquarians go, yay! Or even only five of you. I don't care. Right? There should at least be 11 of you. 11th house. All right. So that's our fire. Let's, let's, uh, let's keep that general first out of five cards down. Next, we're going to go to the Crystal Oracle for the element of Earth. Whether you have the stone or not is a moot point. You can get the stone if you want it, because uh, it's Crystal Oracle. Uh, but Clear Quartz does everything. Just empower it with the intention that the Crystal Oracle indicates. This is one of two bookie book reads, as I like to call them. We'll read from the bookie books. Uh, but certainly, if you don't have Clear Quartz, grab a rock, grab a wood chip, like whatever, element of Earth, as a touchstone, right? As a reminder, as a focal point. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North Towers of Earth, uh, the Archangel of Lions, of whom I am named after. Please, one card in clarity for the Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the Crystal Oracle message? The element of Earth to fuel the fire, to ground and manifest their heart's desire of and with passion. This uh, new moon in Aries would be very, very passionate uh, to a uh, full in Libra. Ooh. Lapis Lazuli, an Aquarian stone if ever there was one. <laughs> Certainly. Third eye, third eye, third eye. All three of my eyes just rolled <laughs> at that and pretty much <clears throat> opened right to it. Is this a double page or no? It's just one page. Protection, power, and expansive uh, thinking. So PPE. Isn't that a thing? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, protection, power, expansive thinking. P-P-E-T. Phone home, whatever, space shots. Lapis lazuli is, oh, I'm, by the way, wearing lapis lazuli right now. It is my stone for Athena, who shares the throne of uh, uh, Aquarius with uh, Heracles. Lapis lazuli is a highly spiritual crystal that helps cut through illusions and expand your thinking in ways that serve to empower you with passion. That's important. Uh, is it not time to let go of an outmoded way of thinking or belief system which no longer serves you? <laughs> Shade. Remember, you are eternally protected. There's nothing to fear, so just be yourself. Aquarians, you came in to just be yourselves. Unique, a bit pulled back from the world, perhaps, as a result. Uh, you will soon find yourself thinking outside the square, and in doing so, you will begin to unlock your true and unique potential. Be a leader, not a follower. Dare to be different, W-L-I-R, and uh, success is yours. You have the ability to mentally and emotionally rise above all you encounter in life. Well, yeah, but you got to feel it to heal it, too. Uh, and in doing so, a clearer picture emerges. All right, so passion with lapis lazuli, I will say, is almost contra-indicative, contra right? Because you've got this passion and flame me, and you have this, yes, but... You know, I, 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 am, I am protected. I mean, I'm going to see this clearly. I'm going to see this differently. But it's certainly an element of air that feeds fire. So we've got complementary opposites. And lapis is not that hard to find. Usually if you can find pyrite in a gold pyrite, that's how you know it's lapis. A lot of times I have seen things called lapis that are sodalite or dyed something or other. Buyer beware. Uh, let's do the element of air, your element, uh, fixed air that you are, uh, the healing with the angels oracle. Uh, what to think about, what to focus on, what to read about, you know, to engage the element of air in the mind to feed the fire. Uh, and certainly we have a very air 
element stone here with lapis lazuli. Uh, so this is also the healing angels. Uh, so what legion is waiting for you to call upon them? Because they don't call and they don't come unless you call them. It's called it's called manners, <laughs> angelic archangelic manners. Let's ask the Raphaelites, the angels of the east. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call to the angels and archangels of the east, sign of Aquarius, powers of uh, of air. Yeah, I think I said that in the wrong order, but it felt good. Please, my Raphaelites, the Raphaelites for the Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, eyes watching this video, receiving this reading, who are the angels waiting in the wings with their wings to swoop in at the slightest invitation of the ear ringing, slightest invitation of the Aquarian Collective for their element of air to feed that passion with that, that passion, with that protection, with that clear thinking, with that seeing it uh, differently, and really feeling safe enough to be uh, open and authentic to who they are. The element of air, the angels, this new to full, is a very Aquarian card. Friendship. You are the friends of the Zodiac. I mean, perhaps side by side with Sagittarians. They're uh, gregarious. It's a little bit different. Uh, but it is that 11th house. Hey, can't we all just get along, right? Link, pinks, hands across America. We are the world. We are the children. Because you guys can see the larger picture. Mentally, unity consciousness is easy for you. Because you can look at the quantum math or you know, just kind of air sign it all the way. Uh, but this is certainly something more about also being friendly with yourself, right? P friendly passion, right? <laughs> Don't burn down the village, uh, but light a light. <laughs> light a candle. I have a barbecue. I don't know. The season's coming. I don't think in the next two weeks necessarily here on Long Island, but whatever. Um, so the healing angels of friendship are going to heal your friendships. And they're going to make your healing more friendly. We're always play with the words that way. Sometimes if you just go straight in, you miss it, right? Got to kind of feel it out. And I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I'm good at that. How many different ways can I analyze this? So the element of water here, uh, you know, this is about, uh, like I said, loving yourself with this new moon. So seeing yourself differently, being friendly with yourself, right? But with that passion, rise up high and flame my purpose, reach the sky. I think the underlinable word there is purpose. What's your purpose? Well, let's ask the higher selves of all involved, the whispers of love oracle. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra, <coughs> and above, I know it's a lot of breathing, uh, please, what is the whisper of love? The piece of information, inspiration, insight needed for the element of water, the energy and motion that we call emotion for the Aquarian Collective with passion and fire, lapis lazuli and earth, friendship and air. What do you got for them, higher selves of all concerned, even other people, not them? Uh, this new to full. <laughs> you got the Neil Diamond card. <laughs> gotta do it. Gotta do it. I scripted to do this. Ready? Turn on your hot light. Let it shine wherever you go. Oh, dear. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Ellie, <laughs> I can't not. I'm 53 years old. I'm Generation X. This shit is hardwired. <laughs> Just trigger. But not such a bad one. Oh, we're coming to America. Turn on your heart light. Now look, that is saying use all this mental power and open your heart, right? Balance this thing, mental, emotional. Be friendly with yourself. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be friendly in your thoughts on absolutely everything. That'll drive you mad because you're not being friendly to those thoughts by saying, eh, cancel, cancel, right? Instead, just going to be like, yeah, I get it. But thoughts are things. We are not our thoughts. Just like, well, we are air more than we are our thoughts, right? We need air. 
Thoughts come and go. They're electromagnetic wavelengths. Mm. Right? So use that intense power you have. Ignite your passion. Open your heart. Turn on your heart light. And it does kind of tell you. Uh, allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. And reflection is a mental process. Last card down. A healing mantra. I always feel like mantras, because they are words, uh, seem more suited uh, for the air signs, but I think Aquarius in particular, because you can fix, fixed air, fix your mind, focus your mind on that. So this is the card of spirit. So you grab a piece of, a piece of lapis, cast the spell, calling, with the, calling the angels of friendship, turning on your heart light, charge the lapis with it, I guess, uh, or whatever you're using, and, and, and then use this mantra to charge it with and keep it with you for the two-day, uh, two-week period, sorry. Tiny, wimey, wibbly, wobbly. Breathe. Still point. As I call to the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly, because this could be about anything. Friendships usually do indicate soul contracts, but, you know, we've got to be friendly with ourselves and our process as well. Over a waxing moon period, <laughs> that's the fastest way there. Please, what is the perfect healing mantra, the card of spirit, to charge this element of fire with passion, which is very fire, lapis lazuli, that protection, that clarity, that seeing things differently, letting their unique nature, that they're safe, <laughs> they are safe uh, to be who they are authentically with the healing angels of friendship, maybe bringing in new friendships for them as well, right? And as a result of allowing themselves to be felt and seen, turning on their heart light, really opening their heart, reflecting, and sending out that signal into the quantum field. What's the perfect healing mantra? Please make it specific for them. So it really, really crosses the T's and dots the I's for the Aquarian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading, this new to full, April 2022. Creating cooperation. More gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play. You got some people, either ones you know, some you don't, right? Some you might have forgotten, come back around, I don't know what's retrograde, don't really care. Uh, but certainly it does make sense with it, like I said, a new moon in Aries waxing to a full in Libra. It does that every year. That's the new moon, full moon cycle, right? That's not a surprise. But because it's on a Friday, and then it harvests on a Saturday, the day of Saturn. See what I'm saying? Hmm. Uh, creating cooperation. I opened right to it. Creating cooperation. <coughs> More gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play. <laughs> Speaking of Aquarius and role play, let's just move on. Uh, when cooperation is created, the unity of all is accessed to accomplish more in one moment than any one person could do alone. Many hands make light work. Uh, light work. Uh, as a creator of cooperation, you are giving others the right to contribute, which only broadens the effect of collective expression. Absolutely. U N I T Y. Once cooperation is created, all facades of competition melt away, allowing each uh, individual to feel a renewed depth of self-worth by serving a vision greater than any degree of individual gain. I just saw that this could happen about the Ukraine. You could be organizing, you've got a passion, you're gonna bring in your friends, you're gonna turn on your heart light, you're gonna, and everybody's gonna have their role to play. <laughs> Let's put on a show, right? A whole gamut range of how this could play itself out. This mantra is ideal for enhancing teamwork, transforming family dynamics, and increasing inner peace. I mean, it's all on the table to do that passion with peace, but you got to be authentic to yourself, right? You got to, you are protected. You are protected. This is very, very element of air, but let us not forget that the water is really important in that too. It's the love that lights this up and the friendship that brings in other people to create cooperation. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this together in a summation with a blessing I'm using the torch of Archangel Ariel, torch Ariel as I like to call her, uh, uh, to, to really bring through the blessing because everybody needs that. Um, and uh, then we'll talk a little bit at the end. Please take a nice deep breath. Last time. 
still point. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Aquarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, may they be blessed with all they truly need. This new moon in Aries to full moon in Libra, April 2022, that they may create the cooperation that they need because more gets accomplished when everyone has a role to play and they'll be able to accomplish that by turning on their heart light, by opening up, using their power to reflect upon the love and then send that out. And certainly calling in the healing angels of friendship to inspire that, to pass that on, to expand uh, that, that love by seeing it from a place of real clarity, of seeing it differently, of knowing that they are safe and protected as they do this. And if there's risk in everything, but there's a larger plan and play here, and they need to play it authentically and in a healthy way in order for this passion that they yearned for, that they burned for, to fully manifest. Still point. Rise, passion. Rise up high. Inflame their purpose reach the sky for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so motivating <laughs> so it is I had to cough <laughs> that's a lot of breath work it just is so did you like it? <laughs> like it? I mean, come on. This could be anything, but it feels good. And I just realized, reach the sky. Aquarius is the stratosphere. Fixed air. Look it up. <laughs> just saying symbolically it's there. And if you want more of me here on YouTube, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I am putting these out when they're done. As soon as YouTube says, okay, you can send them out, I send them out. So you never know when that's going to be with upload times. Uh, but if you really want to come play, you want to go deep, you want some deep play, come play Gian. Come on. Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle because I'm the Archangel Alliance, Mark Angel Alliance, which you can always call me Mal. So many people do, except my mom. Uh, so good luck with this comment. What is this about? Is this about social justice? Is this about let's put on a show? What are you organizing? Inquiring minds want to know. Ooh, that rhymed. Wishing you all. <laughs> oh my god, the very best. <laughs> the very, very blessed my beloved aqua lungs my aquariums have at it hail farewell and blessed blessed be